Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Tattoos. In this video, I'll be showing you a Magica AI tutorial for beginners. So this is making an AI app without any code. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering what is a great way for you to start creating your app uh, with AI and that has AI. Well, in this case, Imagica here can actually help you without using any code. Now, in this case, how do we get started? So first thing you need to do is you need to visit their official website, which is going to be imagica.ai studio. Now, in the main homepage here, you should be able to see the following information. So you have the sign up with email and sign up with Google. Now, if you want to manually create your account, you could go ahead and click on sign up with email. But if you want to create your account with Google, let's go ahead and click on it. But before starting here, we first have to see the pricing that I actually have. So let's go ahead and go to the pricing tab here. And as you can see, they actually have a starter plan here, which is for free. So this includes unlimited projects, image generation, Ask Imagica, which is a real-time web results uh, interface and a chat interface also included. But if you're going to use the pro or the business plan here, you'll have the following features available to you, which includes premium design templates, premium font styles, unlimited projects, and a lot more. Now, in this case, we want to go ahead and start using the free plan here. So go to the very top here and just click on the option here that says sign up with Google and choose our account. Now, if you want to create, again, create your account manually, you could go ahead and do that. But in this case, to make it a lot easier for us, I'm going to use my Google account here to sign up. Now, once we are signed up into the platform, you should be able to see the next tab here. So let's just wait for it. Now, this is going to be the welcome page for Imagica here. So let's go ahead and click on begin here. And it's, as you can see, it's going to give us a quick video tutorial. So if you want to watch that, you could go ahead. But for now, let's just click on the X button at the top right of our screen. Now, from here, let's go ahead and click on the finish here section again. And for us, as you can see, this is going to be home page. Now, in this case, there are going to be some UIs or uh, locations that you need to be aware of on what they do. Now, at the top left here, if you click on create new project, this is where you'll be able to create a new project. But if you choose the template section here, this will you'll be able to choose or use an existing template for creating your apps. Like, for example, if you're uh, really wanting to create your application in a really, really fast manner, using a template as the basis or the skeleton of your app is the way to go. Now, the My Project section here, this is where your project is, will be currently located. And My Functions is will contain your functions. But this one is kind of advanced, but for now, let's just click on the template section here. Now, templates, again, it's a great way for you to start creating or creating your apps. But if you want to create something from scratch, you could go ahead and click on the Create New Project at the top left here. And as you can see, you will have the following options. So first, we have the AI app, the static website, AI chat agent, and you make your own flow section as well or start with a prompt. Now, in this case, uh, if you want to start creating your AI app, just choose the AI app here. And it's going to redirect you to another page where, in this case, you'll need to input some details regarding your app. Now, as you can see, as you can, this is going to be a node. So, first, you need to input uh, your field. In this case, maybe I want to use a text here. And from here, maybe I want to say this is going to be an input for number one. And when you click on the plus button here, it's going to create a new connection, which in this case, you'll have the following functions. So you have the top suggestions here, which includes calculate the square root, find a factor of the given number, or convert a decimal number to binary. Now in this case, just choose whatever that you need here. So maybe I want to say, I want to convert a decimal number to binary. And from here, it's going to show the output for that. As you can see, it's going to automatically create that section for us. It's just going to be our input here. Now, if you want to add a node here, just click on add node. And as you can see, we were able to create a new node here that you could just reposition whatever in this section here as well. Now, as you can see, it's actually pretty simple in creating your uh, text here. So maybe this is going to be a number two here. Create number two. And we could actually click on the, on the, uh, the plus button here. Or you could just basically connect it in here. Like if you want to, if you want to connect those. 
So you need to add a variable name so you, for you to actually know well, when it's actually going to be used in the function. But the great thing here about uh, creating an application on Magica is you could use a different method of creating your project. So maybe you don't want to do or do a lot of those uh, these things here. You just want to basically just describe your application. Well, there's a way for us to do that in Magica. So let's just go back into our previous window here. Just click on create a new project. And in this case, instead of using AI app here, we need to use the option here that says or start with a prompt auto in Magica. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now from here, it's going to uh, give us the uh, welcome page again. So for now, I'm going to click on X button. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to describe our application, which is something really, really simple, especially if you're not familiar with uh, storyboards or uh, the whole process on how creating um, in Magica here. In this case, there's going to be some starter prompts here. Like, so for example, when a user asks for stock advice, app generates three stock options with explanations and stock price interface. Now, also, there's going to be a lot that you could use from here. Now, again, depending on what prompt you enter here and how much you describe your application, that is what they're going to or what Imagica is going to give you. Now, to give you an example, maybe I want to say when users enter the age, income, and goals, the app generates a savings plan. So let's go ahead and choose this one and it's going to start generating our flow or our app here. So this might take a few seconds or a few minutes. So just wait for it to properly generate our app. As you can see, it's going to be automatically generated for us. So let's just wait for it. And uh, in a few minutes or a few seconds, it should be ready. As you can see, even the Apple window is being generated here. The functions are being generated, which is something really, really cool. Now, while things are moving around, you could go ahead and just view whatever you see here, move around. And as you can see, it's now done. As you can see, what we just said before, based on our prompt, it's going, we are going to be asking the age, the income, and the goal for that specific app. Now, once we actually entered the following details, it's going to uh, give us the saving, uh, uh, saving plan here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and change whatever here. So maybe uh, you want to change the, instead of income, you might want to uh, indicate the savings that they currently have or whatever here. Also, uh, if you want to edit some certain aspects on it, you could go ahead and press on this one. You could also remove the preview or even split this one or even make a duplicate or a copy of this node or even copy the text that is that actually contains. So if you want to remove this, you could go ahead and click on the delete button as well. Now from here, we have the generate income or generate option here. If you click on generate, you should be able to see the details or uh, start uh, creating it as you can see right now. Now, also, we also have the option to change a few things on our input. So for example, copy, we also have the option here for a copy text. If you want to remove the node as well, you could go ahead and do that. Or even just hide the preview, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now, as you can see, this is immediately going to be our app. So if you want to go ahead and name your app, you could go ahead and go to the top left here. You could go ahead and click on the unti untitled here to change a few things. If you want to save your app, just click on save here and you should be able to save that. And from here on at the right side, this is where you'll be able to see your app. Now, if you want to change a few settings on your app, like for example, let's go ahead and click on it. You should be able to change the design template. So if you want to make it use it in a dark template here, you could go ahead and do that. If you want to change the font style, but this is only available for Pro, you also have the option to change your logo here, but this is for the business plan as well. We also have the domain name a lot and a lot more. If you want to delete the publish view here, you could go ahead and do that. But if you want to publish this, just click on the option that says publish as. And that should actually open this up. And from here, you could go ahead and just add a name here. So if you want to change that, add a description or and change a few things here. But for now, we want to go ahead and use this one. And from here, just click on publish. And that should actually publish your app here. So let's just wait for it. So it's going to say successfully created, updated. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the copy link. And when we actually go back into this section here, paste our link, we should be able to see our application as you can see right now. Also, if you want to view, like for example, let's just go back in here. If you click on copy link here, you should be able to copy the link 
or even uh, I think you should e you could even copy the QR code here and share this to your friends. But as you see, going back in here, you should be able to enter the age, the income, the goals. And in this case, maybe I want to change the age a bit here. Say, let, let me say just 30 years old. The income per year is going to be 40. And just click on submit. Now, once we actually submit that, it's going to give us the output here. And from here on, you should be good. So Imagica here is your way for you to start creating your application without any hassle and in, in a pretty simple way, which is something really, really cool. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.